Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. Today is my five month update for Peeping Pans. This is a Pantastic Ladies collaboration. It started on January 1st and goes until December 31st of 2018. The focus is on making a small goal on four to six products at a time. I've personally been focusing on my stash of ColourPop Super Shock Shadows this year. I am trying to hit pan on as many as I can. Um, um. <laughs> throughout this project. <clears throat> if you haven't noticed, my son Ron is sitting next to me as I'm filming this update today. So please excuse all of the editing that you're gonna see throughout this video. All right, I've been working on six products over the last month. This is the first month and the first update so far where I have not hit pan. There will not be a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow rolling out and a new one rolling in. That's the first time it's happened. It's a little bit disappointing um, for me personally because it's it has been so much fun to hit pan, and, move things out, move new and, things in. But I do have something to talk to you guys about instead. Let me quickly go through the six shadows that are in this project and what they look like today. And then I wanna to talk to you guys about uh, saving Super Shock shadows. Uh, First up, I have the shade Weenie. This shade rolled in at last month's update and I used it one time, but not enough to hit pan yet. It is a beautiful shade. Um, so hopefully it'll get a little bit more use out of, over the next month. Or month. Two shadows that are still sitting here and looking <laughs> and looking drier than ever are uh. Prickly Pear. I don't think I used that at all. And Slay, which I think I used once or twice, and it has now cracked in half. Hazel dropped it on the bathroom floor last night. Um, so that's what that looks like. I'm going to talk about that in a second. Um, then there is Acorn. Yes, I have used this quite a bit over the last month as an inner corner highlight. And I think I will be hitting pan on this next month. Um, I am wearing it on my inner corners today with another highlight on top of it. And then we have Koosh which I've also worn several times over the last month, and I also think I am super close to hitting pan on this. You can kind of see in the center that little circle. That little circle right there means that pan is just beneath the surface. So I have a lot of shadows that I'm gonna hit pan on. The last shadow is Bill. I talked about this last month and I mentioned that it was getting dry and I had been using it, it was working, and then it had stopped working and it was almost like it had a hard pan on it. And so I told you guys I was going to try and revive this Super Shock shadow. Um, then another YouTuber that I talk with regularly, she's a member of the panning community. Her name is FTCMUA, I believe. If that's wrong, I'll put a note in the bottom, but I'm pretty sure that's her, her YouTube name. Anyways, she said, before you try to repress it, can you do me a favor? She, she suggested that I divide the shadow into thirds and try to revive, because I think I had mentioned I was gonna try to revive it with argan oil. She said, could you try a third with argan oil, a third with a setting spray that has glycerin in it, and then take a third of it and try to revive it with a setting spray that does not have glycerin in it? So I said, sure, why not? So I went through all my setting sprays and it turns out that every setting spray I own has glycerin in it currently. And so what I decided to do was divide this shadow into half and do half with the argan oil and half with the setting spray. I cut the shadow in half and I took this Physician's Formula Argon Wear Argon Oil that I've had and with the half of it that I put into one container, I put two drops of this Argon Oil in, chopped it up, mixed it up, and set it back in. And then I took the other half and I used MAC Fix Plus Setting Spray and I sprayed about five sprays on top of it, which I think was three or four sprays too many. I think actually one spray would have been enough, maybe two. Five was way too many for half of a shadow, but 
I chopped it up, mixed it all up, and repressed both of them back into the existing pan. I don't know if you can kind of see the split down the middle, but this half was what I did with the Argon Oil and this half was the Mac Fix Plus. I'm going to quickly swatch both sides for you so you can see how it looks now. I am also wearing it today on my, um, up here in my transition. I was intending to do like one side on one eye and the other side on the other eye and then I completely forgot about it when I was doing my makeup on and I just did the argon oil side on both eyes. This is the swatch that I did with the MAC Fix Plus and this is the swatch with the argon oil. Basically I found the argon oil to work great. And I ended up repressing another shadow that's not in this project, but one that is one of my all-time favorite shadows from ColourPop, and it was looking pretty dry, and it was the shade Fringe. And let me give you a quick swatch of that. This one, I just used the Argon Oil. It feels so amazing now that it has the oil back in, and I am wearing that on my eyelids today. I'm trying to decide if that is creasing right there from the ColourPop shadow or from like something I put on underneath, but I have a little crease going on there, which I normally do not have. Um, but yeah, I'm wearing both Bill and Fringe and then the one of the brown shadows from my Pan That Palette on my eyes today. I'm really happy with how they both turned out with the Argon Oil. Um, I only wanted to do those two for now to just kind of see. I will have a lot more information next month on how these two shadows are both doing. I was really procrastinating on doing this for some reason. For some reason, I just was kind of scared to mess with the shadows, even though they that bill was so dried out that it was pretty much useless. For some reason, I was still kind of scared to like start playing scientist. So I finally did it last night, kind of telling myself like, you got to have something to talk about in this video. Otherwise it's not a video. So I repressed it last night. Um, both sides are equally as pigmented now. Um, I don't think they changed color. I think they're pretty much the same color they were prior to like when it was a brand new shadow, it was just kind of a mauvey, dusty pink, the kind of shade I absolutely love. Fringe is still beautiful. I think the Argon Oil is the way to go with repressing. It's just neater and easier and makes the consistency feel a lot more like it did prior to it drying out. For the full size of Fringe, I used three drops of Argon Oil and that seemed to work just fine. And so now I can keep working on this and it'll probably get rolled into the project soon. Um, so back to this project. If you're interested in seeing like the whole process of me repressing the ColourPop shadows, there will be a video coming soon on that. It's gonna be a little bit of work getting it all edited because there was a lot of nonsense in the video as well. But a video on that will be coming soon. In the meantime, the six shadows that have been in the project are going to stay in the project. I think I am going to add some Argon Oil to both Prickly Pear and Slay. Since they are clearly both a little dry and cracked and damaged, I think I'm gonna do the Argon Oil mixing it up to these two. Acorn and Koosh are still in really good shape and don't need anything messed with. And then of course, I'm gonna start using Bill much more consistently now that it has been revived. So that is where I'm at. Um, on this project. Hopefully I will have some great new pans for you guys at the next next update and we can rotate some of these out and bring some new ones in. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. In there. I'm in your phone. You're not in my phone. Yes I am. Could you be in my phone? Do you um, see your cheek? Do you see your mosquito bite? Oh, oh dear. Look. Are you trying to see it? Don't scratch it.
Don't scratch it. Don't scratch it. Don't scratch it. All right, scoot over. I gotta film. I'm the oh. <laughs> What's so funny? Hmm? You wanna show everybody your mosquito bite? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Itchy mosquito bite. Don't scratch it. No. No. It's, no. Not, it's not gonna bleed. I'm gonna hand, handcuff your hands. Why? So you won't scratch it. <laughs> <laughs> I unhalf cuffs. You're gonna unhandcuff it? Yeah. Look. Oh, you're so strong. All right. Are you going to play the game so I can film? I'll boom. Yep. Oh. <laughs> when one product, when the goal is met. <laughs> it had. And oh my head. <laughs> Are you singing Wizard of Oz? <laughs> oh man, you're a goof. I'll, I'll put your feet in your phone. Don't put your feet in my phone. <laughs> Ew, there's a toe in my phone. Ew, it's dirty. It's a dirty toe. Ew, dirty feet. Don't you ever take a bath? First up, I have the sh What are you doing? What is that? What are you doing? Shark. That's a shark? Looks like a baby shark. All right. Get your shark's shadow out of my phone. Okay, quiet. Let me get through this. It's only going to take me like two minutes, and you're making it take ten. Stinker. Hey, you. Hey, you.